Hey, hey developers, today we're going to show you seven sites that can help you land that dream developer job. So these sites are great for beginners, for intermediate and advanced developers. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. I actually have one special site I want to talk to you about. It's kind of a new thing I'm trying out and I want to get you guys' opinion on it. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I am a full stack software developer who has over 10 years of software development experience. I'm also an author, so if you're interested in some of the things that I do, I have some links below, you can check out that. And before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Coursera. Now, if you're not familiar with Coursera, they're an amazing teaching platform. They have dozens and dozens of very specialized, high quality courses. The one I want to recommend to you today is developing applications with Google Cloud Platform. It's basically four courses in one. If you look in the description below, I have a link to the course. You can actually try out for free for seven days. So make sure you do that. Make sure you click on that link so you can learn all about creating Google Cloud apps on the Google Cloud Platform. Check it out, thanks. All right, so let's take a look at these different ways you can get jobs developer jobs. And first thing I always recommend for people is always make sure you have a up-to-date LinkedIn profile. And so here's, here are a few things that I've done that really have helped me out. First, make sure uh, sign up for your LinkedIn if you don't already have one. This is a great site where you can list all your jobs, list uh, your accomplishments, list what you've done in the past. So for example, in mine, I have a picture of me. It's a little bit older. It's not the greatest picture, but it works. I also have... Um, a section on my experience. You can see I'm a book author here, my two books that I've written. I put in my the places I've worked at. Actually, I'm missing my latest work, which I need to add in here, but so far that's fine. I have my education, my MBA, and my computer science degree. Then I put in some skills and endorsements. I have you know software development, SQL, C Sharp. I probably should get Vue.js on there somewhere. I put my accomplishments and what I've done. I've actually ran a couple of a podcast. I'm actually on one right now. I've taught a bunch of different courses and I put some of my interests there. So just anything you can do to make yourself look good, make sure you put that on your LinkedIn profile. Also, another thing I've, I like to do is make sure you have a, a pretty good uh, summary here of what you are. So put, put in, um, you know, put in three or four paragraphs, you know, take some thought in, take some thought out, makes it really well written and makes, make sure it makes sense to you. And then I always put in something at the end that if someone doesn't want to connect with me on LinkedIn, that they can still get a hold of me. So I put a link to my website, I put in my Twitter handle and I tell people, you know, just go and contact me. So, uh, that, that would be good. If I go into my edit profile here, Let's see here, view profile. So if I click here to edit my profile, you could see here, here's the summary, my experience, but you can also add more sections if you think it, think about it. Also, I always try to add everybody I know, so I have a, a large amount of connections. I think that really helps. And um, I also change my visibility. So uh, I make sure that my profile is public, and then I make sure at least you can see my hosts, uh, my headlines, my post activities, summaries, experience details. I leave my past education kind of hidden unless you're actually a friend or you're actually on LinkedIn. So I think that's a good idea. Uh, another quick tip is if you're looking for a job after you set up your profile, make sure you click on the job section and you can actually select that you're actively applying or casually looking for your job search. And this will let recruiters know that you're looking for a job. So if you do those two things, you click on the jobs, select that you're actively applying or casually looking, recruiters will start contacting you. And actually they'll, re they'll actually start contacting you even if you don't do this. So those are just a few quick tips on, on what I've done with my profile to get it, to get a little bit uh, more visibility. I believe there's also a section in here where you can put what kind of technologies you use. You make sure you obviously want to make sure that uh, here skills, I put JavaScript, web development, Microsoft, obviously, obviously I should probably put some more skills here, but this is a good idea. Just put all the different skills you've worked on in the past. If you have friends that you've worked in the past, you can ask them to write um, recommendations for you. Those will show up here. You just want to make your, your uh, LinkedIn look well and uh, look good. And certainly you'll start getting recruiters contacting you all the time. Trust me, even when you're not looking, it's, it gets a little bit annoying, but I think this is just the this is like the basics. This is the first thing you should do when you're looking for a job and as a software developer is just update this LinkedIn and make sure you, you have it all updated. 
A second website, I think you guys have all heard about this. I think back in the day, everybody talked about monster.com, but really uh, Indeed is, is really the website that most people use nowadays. It just has tons and tons of uh, jobs listed. So I can just type in software engineer, and then I can just like, look, oh, look, there's one at Urology of Nevada. There's, um, there's game development here. And this is a great place. They even have reviews, tons of information. Uh, you can even get experience levels, like nearby locations. You can see full-time contracts. So it has tons of really great options. And almost every software development employer uses Indeed. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. The next one I want to say is Craigslist. Now, some people think Craigslist is dead, but not really. Um, just look in your city or a couple cities nearby, and I would do a couple of them. So, like, I'm in Reno, Nevada, but I probably want to use Sparks, Nevada. I probably want to use, like, Sacramento that, or Lake Tahoe. And then take a look at the job section down here on the right-hand side. It's probably a little bit hard to see. But there's, like, software, QA, DBA, systems network. And you can kind of just peruse that. Some developer, uh, some companies will post on Craigslist because it's absolutely free and then they'll skip Indeed. So you might find kind of a, a Ruby, kind of a gem in the rough here. I mean, you might find a, a job that's, you can, you're can you not, not going to see anywhere else. So I would definitely take a look at that. Uh, if you're more into, more into like maybe a, uh, maybe to join a software startup. There's a couple sites I recommend. That is producthunt.com slash jobs. You can see uh, a bunch of different companies, a lot of San Francisco companies here, but like what it, what are these companies looking for? Um, you, can do, you can do it by location. You can do it by roles, skills, but I really like this is just a quick idea of like, okay, these are companies that are up and coming. Who, what are they looking for? Like even work for Product Hunt. Hacker news, there is, uh, if you go up to news.ycombinator.com slash jobs, or just click on the jobs link at the top, you'll get a list of a ton of companies that are looking for developers and engineers, and a lot of them are Y Combinator. So these are a lot of startups, but that could be a good thing, especially startups might give you equity. So that's a, a definite plus. It may be worth something, something one day, may not be worth anything, but I, I think for a new Software developer working for a startup is a great idea because you're gonna be, you're gonna have to wear a lot of hats. You might end up having to learn a lot about DevOps. You might have to learn a lot about if you're front end. You probably have to learn a little bit about the back end and vice versa if you're in the back end. You might even have to do some customer development. You might have to be a designer. So you probably learn a lot of things. And and working for a startup is a great way to do it. And you can work for a startup that has a lot of potential and might even give you some equity. Uh, or at least some stock options. So this is a great place to go. And now I know that that H Hacker News 2, I think they have like once every few weeks, they'll have just a thread that they'll post up, which I don't think they have one right now, but they'll just have a jobs thread and just a bunch of companies will just post to it and then you can look through there. So keep an eye out for those two. But for now, you can click on jobs. You can take a look at it, like hiring a lead software engineer, and then you can kind of go to the website and find out you know where they're at and what they're looking for and how you need to apply. Make sure that you brush up on getting your resume all up, up um, all spiffy and ready to go. Might need to create a cover letter too. Usually cover letters aren't as important for software developers, but it's good to have. Uh, one other site I just created, and I'll put this in the link description below. I created a, a jobs interview help board. So on this board, we're gonna have job postings and then post videos to help people with interview help. So this is a Facebook group. You guys can join, it's absolutely free. I just started it yesterday. So I'll put a link below. So feel free to click on the link and join my uh, my job board because I think this will be really cool. We can help each other find jobs, give advice on, on how to find it. And I think there's not too many great places for developers to get job interview help. Um, so I, yeah, definitely check this out. And last but not least is Brad Traversi. Traversy Media has created a Medium article where he lists 70 job websites for developers. And he actually did a video on this too. I'll link that below. Uh, so this is everything you can think of. He met, you know, Indeed, Craigslist. He mentions um, traditional job search websites, startup job finds, freelancer sites, screen freelancer sites, remote jobs, micro job services, 
four designers, contests and challenges, um, top coder. I've used that before. Big companies. So a ton of sites here. Um, you can, I would, uh, check out this article, check out, uh, his channel too, and his video about this. Just, he did a really good job of, of kind of collecting all these different websites and putting it on one page for you guys to take a look at. So that is my seven software development job sites that I think you guys should check out. Uh, if, let me know if I'm missing any, is there any sites that you guys use? Obviously some, one of the best ways of finding a software development job is knowing someone at the company you want to apply for. So if you know someone at LinkedIn or, you know, someone at Google or Microsoft getting an in with them so you can at least get through the HR firewall and actually get an interview is, is great. Um, that's probably the best way, but for the rest of us who don't have all these connections, using some of these job sites or using something like LinkedIn and working with recruiters is probably your best bet. So thank you for watching. If you guys really like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that little bell button. So the next time I create a video, you'll know about it. I appreciate it. Happy November.